Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up a progress bar content binding. And what we're going to be doing this for is for setting up a health uh, bar within our game. So if you take a look at this image that I've created within Photoshop, you can see in the bottom left hand corner I've got this little bar with a number on this. And this bar is going to move up and down down with the player's health within our game. So we're going to be showing you how you can tie this bar to a variable inside of Unreal Engine along with setting up the style and the appearance of this progress bar as well. So open up Unreal Engine, go to your starter content folder where we've got everything else and what I want you to do is download the latest version of the UI resources and then just drag and drop bar empty and bar fill into here to import them as we are going to need them. Now, because this is a heads up display element, something that's gonna be displayed when the player is playing the game, we are gonna be doing this within our heads up display widget. So HUD, uh, that little widget blueprint is what you're after. Open this up, give it a couple of seconds, and then what we're gonna do is set up a progress bar. So in the top left hand corner in the, pa in the palette panel, just drag and drop one of those in there. Now with this, the way these progress bars work is you essentially have a progress value within here and moving from left to right, you can see it fills it up and you can do this two ways. You can fill it with color or you can fill it with an image. I'm gonna be showing you how you can set it up with both of those. Now in our case, we already have an image for this. And what you need when you're setting up progress bars for an image, you need two images. The background image, which is when it's empty, and then a fill image for when it's full. So first of all, go to style and your background image, and we're gonna set this to bar empty. Set your margin to zero to make sure there's no stretching either. Go to fill image and set this one to bar fill. This is the one that's going to determine what it's going to look like when the progress is at 100%. So we've done our styling stuff, so I'm just going to close that up so we don't need that anymore. And now notice our progress, when we move it from 0 to 1, it's moving left to right. This bar, we want it to move from bottom to top. So we're just going to quickly change the bar fill type from bottom to top. Now what you're going to have to do is stretch your bar sort of upwards just like this and then with that you can see your progress working a little bit better. Now notice here you can see that we've got our appearance um, for our fill being a little bit of a strange color, it's making everything green. We do not want that. So what we're going to do is just change the R, G and B values all to 1. And what this little section is here for is if you don't have a second image, instead what you can do is just change the color of it. Um, but for now, because we've got two images, we're just going to set all these values to one so it just uses the original image. There's no tint or anything like that. Going from zero to one now, you can see the bar is going up and down just the way that I want it to. Now. What you will notice is the image is a little bit stretched. So what I'm gonna do is just set my size X and Y up here to the original dimensions that I set in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go back to my style and gonna go to my background image and get the dimensions, which are 80 by 336. And I'm just gonna set this up here. So 80 and 336 just like that, and now everything's all good. So, what we can do now then is actually focus on getting that bar moving with a variable which we've set up already. So what we have is within our first person character, we actually already have a health variable, but notice this is an integer which is currently going from zero to 100. What this is asking for within our heads up display is a value going from zero to one and it needs a float. So if you can, when you're setting up your gameplay mechanics, try and use a float instead. So what I'm gonna do for now is just quickly create a new variable and we're just gonna call this health float. 
And then if we compile this in the top right hand corner, I can set this to a float and compile it again and I can give it a value. Now this isn't actually attached to any kind of gameplay stuff, nothing is going to be able to damage the player, but I'm just going to set this to 1 for the sake of demonstration. So when we do set up our functionality, that bar should be completely full. So I'm going to compile this, go back to my heads up display, and then next to my percentage, I'm going to create a binding, make some space, and then within here, we are going to give this the name uh, sorry, we're going to create a node which is going to cast to the character blueprint which actually has that health variable in it. And in that case it is first person character, so I'm going to break this link by pressing um, alt and then clicking it, and then get percent, we are going to type in cast to first person character. The cast node is just letting you communicate to another blueprint and then the first person character is where that variable is actually contained. As the first person character, we're simply just going to get health float and hook this up into the return node just like that. So essentially, what this binding is doing is getting the health value from the float and then just dumping that into the progress. So one last thing we do need to do whenever we're casting to an casting to another blueprint is set up the object wildcard which in this case is get player character and then if I hit compile we are good to go. So if we go ahead and press play you are going to notice right now that bar is completely full and that's because I have set within my first person character my float value for health to 0 out of 1. If I was to set this to 0.4 hit compile and then play again, you are going to notice that bar is now at 40% and it is doing its job correctly. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding of how all this is going to work and are going to be able to set up a really simple health bar for your game. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.